Hey there everyone, Dage4 here. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I feel like this might be helpful for some. This place is a real pain in the butt. I agree. Anyway, so, uh, if you remember, I recorded a video about Jelly's tool, the SA2 level editor. And he added CG support, but we couldn't really see the kill planes. And then Onvar basically got the data for the kill planes. So now we can see them, and then Jelly put it in his program. The result is this. Um, currently, this is just with only the kill planes on. So if I turn on the collision, the background, no, forget the background. This is basically CG. It works just fine, but what I'm doing right now, it's probably just better to show this. So, going into the program, if I were to toggle the follow... SA2 in real time off, we can explore. So if I go down here, we can see what's going on here. So Sonic is just on the wall right there. Um, this is the actual kill plan. Now the top one is the largest one of them all. So if we look at the stage, that's basically kind of like this area here. And we got a big giant kill plane up here. So obviously you want to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, I'm making it worse for myself, which is really cool. So going here, then we have the bottom kill plane. Now, if we compare the two kill planes, you'll notice that the top one is very long, very long. It's ridiculous how long this is. However, if you look at the bottom one, it's very sort of thin in a sense, if we're looking at it from the vertical. Weird thing is, is that there's like two kill planes stacked on each other, at least from the looks of it. So that might be wrong, but I guess you could say there are three kill planes in Crazy Gadget now. <laughs> so normally what you would do is you would jump from the edge and jump down here, avoid this top kill plane. Sonic would be going into this kill plane, so you would hold up, but you don't want to hold up for too long because if you hold up for too long, then you'll enter this kill plane up here, and then you'll die. So then what you do is just face another different angle in order to stay out of it. But once you get past this gap, you can easily just hold downward, or hold at a downward angle, and you should be okay. It's just a matter of avoiding this kill plane here first, avoiding the top one first, then getting up the bottom one second, but not going into it, so the third part is going down, and once you get past, if you don't die, then you can easily hold down from there. So, if I were to demonstrate, I can't show you like an in-game example, but I can show you what the tool sees, pretty much. So, if I just... So, normally, you would jump on here, and then uh, you would spin that jump. So if I were to look at Sonic right now, using the tool, we can see, if I just untoggle the follow function, that Sonic is right around here. He's made it past the first kill plane. At least got under the first kill plane. So now he's going on a direction towards the bottom one. So if I, uh, just move a little bit forward there and just toggle, toggle off. He's getting pretty, he's getting pretty close to this. So usually in a normal CBSS attempt, I think what you would do normally is get around here and then start holding or flick up for a little bit, or you can like prolong it to guarantee. Like if you were over here, you could probably easily hold up. So. What we do is you would basically flip upwards in order to, you know, avoid that. So if I just go ahead and um, pause buffer this. So now Sonic is um, slowly avoiding the kill plane. You'd hold this angle for a little while longer, but we look at Sonic, he's basically on the way up to this kill plane. So if we just keep going in that direction, we 
made it past that kill point. So now, Sonic is basically almost all the way out, but the problem is, is that he's going into the top one. Oh no! What shall we do? So then you start holding up right to go with that. At least with inputs. I should I should have really put on inputs for this. That probably would have helped. So now I'm just gonna hold up right. And by now he should be past all the kill points. He should be at this point, he's pretty much past the the bottom kill plane, so then you would hold a downward angle. And that's when you know you got CGSS. So pretty much, it's basically going from here, going down to avoid this top kill plane, staying there for a little bit so you can get some units forward, then holding up until you're about to almost hit this kill plane and then holding down. So there's only like really two kill planes. There's a third one, but like it's sort of like shit. <laughs> it's sort of like down there. And then basically you're home free. So basically, you don't want to be holding straight down so that you go basically too low into hitting this kill plane, but you don't want to, you know, hit, obviously you don't want to hit the top kill plane. So you kind of got to find an in-between angle around here. I'd say get around to like this area, hold up for a little bit, and then go back down. So once again, the curve pattern is important. So it's like that if I were to just draw with my cursor. And that's basically it. That's pretty much all you need to do in order to get CPSS. So... If I were to just show you, you can't really see it in the program, but I'll show you what a normal, average, run-of-the-mill CGSS attempt would look like in this program. Of course, the out-of-bounds is pretty much the same. And yeah, that's it. That is CGSS with kill planes. LOL. <laughs>